Hey, what's up, SaaS Masters? My name is George, and today I want to show you hashtags for likes. So right now, it's in a lifetime deal, and I want to show you the good stuff and the bad part about it. And I will be straightforward, and I will say that they really need to improve the user experience. So the way you move around and where the options are, it's kind of like clunky, and it's not right. So you will see that in this video. So let's check it out and see if it's the right fit for you guys and if you guys are interested in having more information about hashtags. So let's jump over to my dashboard and let's check it out. All right, this is the deal that's going on right now and it's $59 for a lifetime deal. Honestly, I think it's overpriced for what it actually does. But like I said, they might ex they might improve this later on, but for now, I think it's expensive. What does that $59 get you right now? So. You can use all the platforms, including like TikTok, IG, Twitter, beta. So right now it's not completed, but Twitter is available. YouTube, beta also. So a single code gives you 3,000 searches, five track profiles, and five users. Profiles are, for example, accounts that you're going to follow and start like analyzing every single time, right? So not the searches, they are the tracked profiles. If you buy two codes, you get unlimited searches, unlimited tracked profiles, you get 10 users and 10 sub accounts, plus white label. So the sub account, I will show you how that looks. I created one and you will see how that looks right now. Um, the white labeling, I think it's not the right term to use because the only thing you can do is add a logo. So you can't use your custom link, there's no custom emails or anything like that. So just a logo and that's what they're calling white label. So that's not the right wording for this. And if you get five codes, you get 25 users and unlimited sub accounts. Now there's a little bit of gray area there. They're not explaining how many users each sub account has. Is it going to be 25 users per sub account? So that needs to be clarified. And I will be updating that in the comments. So be checking that out, all right? So let's jump over to the dashboard. And like I said before, the user experience needs to be greatly improved because the settings are not just, I don't know, it's kind of messy, right? Um, this is account I'm testing right now, uh, Medrano Lesti. She's my wife. You guys want to follow her. That's her handle on Instagram. Um, one of the things that happens right away, if I click on this handle right now, it goes to Instagram. So it, it changes from hash, hashtag for like, likes to the Instagram. So I'll click on it just to show you. That should open in a new window and just like heads up founder, um, fix that because that's not the right thing to do. So it should open in a new window. All right, so the analytics, this is the dashboard, right? This is one of the profiles already added. We get the, the information for the likes. For example, the red line is the analytics for, for likes. Um, you get comments on blue and green for the caption word count. Now, since likes are always higher than comments, then this is how the graphic is always going to look. Unless we hide likes by clicking on it, then we can actually view how the comments react, right? So it's an average 40, to 15 comments per post right there by day. So that's something you have to consider there. The engagement is plus 1.63% engagement, 2,041 average likes. So that's depending based on the 10 posts, like they said there before, and 22 average comments based on the 10 recent posts of that one. Now, what happens if I go to, for example, your profile? I think it's kind of redundant in that way. See how it also showed me that? but it gives me more information. So the follower evolution tracking. So since I just added this account, we don't have the evolution of tracking. So it will tell me the followers gained or lost and you all will, will also have the analytics and graphics there. The account stats summary also, you will have that based on every single day right there. Followers following and uploads. That's a lot of uploads. <laughs> Average engagement rate chart. You would also get that information. Future projections. So current stats, top post. You will see them right here. Top mentions, top hatch sacks used, and a little bit more down. Meta stats by summary, right? So if I can view this post right here, I click on it and it opens up in a new window. So that's what it should do on the other one. So that's this post right here. And I think it's from seven hours ago. So it's 257 likes, the hashtags she used, and you can follow there, right? So you can view those posts when you click on it. Now. The analytics for this is to understand what you should use on Instagram and you can analyze the hashtags campaigns right here and I'll show you what information is interesting for that. Something they should add is tell you when the best time to post is based on the post that you've done. So I think they should add that because that's not there yet. If we want to download this as a PDF, we can click on that and just let me open up for you guys right now. Okay, download. 
open. Um, I already added my logo for white label and you can probably see there, Stats Master, but it's not added here in the reports. So that's all the information I'm getting here on the reports. Um, okay, page two. And well, that's actually page two and page one, right? So the information, the whole stats, it's not shown right here. Um, I don't think it's like a big deal because I have no doubt they might add that into the document for the report. If they don't, then like, wow, they should. Next we have is analyze profiles right here. So I've added two profiles, um, obviously my wife, Ms. Medrano, and me, if you wanna add me, check me out. And I don't have the same engagement, obviously, because I'm a guy, right? And you know how that works. And we can remove the account, we can view the account, and we can update data. So this is the followers, the uploads, and the engagement um, based on my profile. So I can view my account by clicking on there. And there's the information for mine, right? So there's my information, and there we go. So let's go back to analyze profiles. If you wanna add a new Instagram account, you click on it right, you add right there. Um, it doesn't search, so you have to add the right username and then you can track it. So those will depend on the limits that you have, right? So track profiles, those are the ones you add. And if you have unlimited, well, you can add as many as you want. Next thing is the hashtag campaign. So hashtag campaigns are this one. For example, I added this one, which is selfie outfit and well, there's no information, why? Let's go to the TikTok one I added, click on that one, and then right here, there we go. I don't know why it didn't add the other one. Let, let me analyze one just for instance right now. So let's just say Sony, right? We're gonna analyze that hashtag. And just let me show you really quick. You can add TikTok, hashtags, and usernames, hashtags from YouTube and from Twitter. Now, the information is really interesting. So the chart is based on, for example, the popularity of that hashtag. So for example, I selected Sony. So that means it's long life, right? So it's a brand. You know they're always going to be using it. And that's why it's a long life. Trending means it's like, you know what, it's right now, it's a trending word, for example, something went viral and it's just trending. It doesn't mean it's gonna be forever and you should know that, right? And if it's popular, well, it's popular right now and a lot of people are using that hashtag, so be aware. Uh, unique post with that hashtag, hashtag reach, and the average likes that have that hashtag has. So 900 likes is the average for that one. Obviously, this is based on popular people and not, and then it just gives you a range of that. Uh, most popular hashtags for Sony on Instagram. So it gives you a variant of that hashtag. So for example, Sony Alpha, Sony Images. And this is pretty useful because, I mean, right off the bat, you're thinking Sony because that's a brand of what you're showing an image of. But you don't remember these, right? And these could be useful to use because they could find your image more easily. Trending hashtags for Sony, for these are the ones that people are combining the hashtag Sony with it and it's popular. So Albania, Autumn, Discover Grease, Girl Grease. So maybe it's like, for example, um, someone who is shooting photography and they're using a Sony camera and they're in, they're in Greece. So that's why this one is showing as popular. You have that information. Now there's a difficulty chart right here, which is medium, high, or low. That means if you are using a low one, that means there's not a lot of competition. Now, if you're not popular, this would be the best way to go. And if you are really popular, then go for the high ones, like rank with it. And you will rank in those posts, in those tags. So it helps you, right? But if you're not popular, it's gonna be hard for your image to act, be shown if you're with a higher tag, right? With a high range. Top recent Instagram post for Sony. So it's not showing the actual image right there. Again, that's probably something that they will fix right there because I, I, I wouldn't think that's the right thing to display, right? Recent searches, popular using this hashtag. Top 10 hashtags used with Sony. These are it. And just a little bit of information right here on the bottom. So again, I think they should um, give a little bit more information about that and if you can copy them. So for example, if I select these, um, oh yeah, you can copy selected. So that's good to know, you can copy them. Um, you got the filter hashtag results right here. So if you wanna show from a minimum, total use to max, you can use the filters there. Negative keywords that you want to add right there. Top five search hashtags. So photography, since we're talking about Sony, um, there's Sony TVs, there's Sony cameras, but I guess cameras are more popular in Sony brand. So that's why you have this. I oh, got TikTok, art, travel, fitness, my hashtags, campaigns. So that's another ones that I've added right there. I can edit that if I want. 
Um, if I want to search for another one, I just add it right there. Again, select from any one of these if I want. So you get all that information with the hashtag. This is really important if you are interested in using hashtags and if you use Instagram a lot. I'm not a super Instagram guy, but for example, my wife is, and this would be more interesting for her to have this deal. Next thing is the video library. This is just like tutorials and blogs that they write. And we have settings. So in settings, we have obviously account settings, billing details, profile settings, email notifications. So who is it going to be sent to the app sumo codes where I add them. This is interesting because it tells you what each code gives you. I've added two codes. So it gives me access to unlimited track profiles, 10 users, 10 sub accounts. I'll show you the sub account right now and the white labeling for the white labeling. This is all you get. So company logo and that's it, right? Um, let me show you what a sub account looks like. So this is one I've added and created. Um, it doesn't pass information. It's like a brand new account. It's clean. You get the same information to add right here. So for example, profiles, if you want to check out, I haven't added any in this sub account, but you can add them and analyze there. Um, the only thing I found about AppSumo is right here. So if I click on this, it shows me lifetime AppSumo. So if you're using this for a client, I don't think that would be really advisable to be showing that. So um, creator of the SaaS, if you could remove that, that would be good because I know people wouldn't like that if you're using a sub account for a client. So just heads up. Let's go back here. Other things you can find is the blog, the contact, banned hashtags. So for example, these are hashtags that have been banned on Instagram. That means they're probably not ranking or they use them in the wrongful way. And that's why you shouldn't use these anymore. For example, Asian girl has they costumes, CPR. I don't know. They probably used it too many times or too many times and the post didn't have to do anything with it. So maybe they just banned it and they're not ranking it right now. So those are things to consider. Banned Instagram hashtags also. Is it the same? Oh, from A to M and N to Z. And then there's the roadmap. So the roadmap is this one quarter or fourth. We're in December. So basically they've completed everything from quarter four, right? So roadmap, download hashtag reports, download analyzer reports, all that. What's coming in quarter one? Well, Twitter hashtag statistics, YouTube's hashtag statistics and agency plans. Maybe that's where the white label is going to shine when they add the agency plans right there. Or Maybe it's a separate plan that they're going to be selling and we, the ones who bought on AppSumo are not going to be included in that one. So something to check out there just in case you guys want to check out. So basically, like I said, the user experience needs to be fixed because we get the dashboard right here. And instead of seeing like this profile, we should be getting these right here. That's what I think I would want to see on my dashboard the separate profiles that we added to be tracking and analyzing should be here, not an independent profile. So that's something that's not there. And then we got your profile. And, and like, like I said, it's kind of redundant because you're viewing kind of the information on dashboard. Then you got your profile and then we have to go to analyze profiles to switch a profile. So I wish I had the option here to like a drop down menu and switch to my profile. So they need to be working a little bit more on user experience to make it a little bit more friendly. And last but not least, let's go into this one just to show you really quickly the Instagram downloader. So it gives you the option to put in here the URL and you can download the images and videos of someone's post if you want to use this. Well, basically that is hashtags for likes. In my opinion, I think it needs uh, a lot of work still and it's overpriced for $59. White label needs a lot of work because that's not white label. 10 sub accounts, I think is pretty cool because basically you're getting 10 accounts. If you're getting the 10 user for each one, right? Then it's a sweet deal in that case with the sub accounts because you could sell these and you make some money back. That's how I see it. Um, at the end of the day, um, I will give them that opportunity because I have a 60 days refund policy available right here. So if they don't improve in those 60 days, well, I'm going to be refunding it just to give you that heads up, right? And if they improve the really, really good and all that, then I'll be keeping it, right? Well, that's the video for now. I thank you all for watching. My name is George. This is SaaS Master. And if you guys would like to support me, please consider using that link in the description. See you guys later.